and welcome to our newest Busy Center launch event 2025 release wave one. In this session, we will show you one new feature related to sustainability. And this is enablement of using sustainability accounts and values, so posting sustainability entries through general journals. Okay, let's remind you how we started. Uh, actually, sustainability functionality is old only two waves. This is third wave where we are delivering new updates for sustainability. In first wave, we enabled uh, to posting sustainability entries only through sustainability journal. Then based on your feedback, uh, you asked to enable using purchase documents. So we enabled purchase invoice, purchase order, credit memos in previous wave. So from previous wave, you could add any information about sustainability directly in your purchase documents. And now we continue to invest in these new options, how you can post sustainability values, again, based on your feedback. And what it means, sustainability ledger entries will not uh, be recorded only with these two types of documents, but also by general journal. So now you can post your general journals as usual, and plus you can add additional sustainability values there. And on the end, you can get all sustainability ledger entries so you can report or environmental impacted uh, reports. Okay, uh, there's some differentiation uh, between these uh, options. So in sustainability journals, you have the most commodity. So you can post all three gas emissions. You can plus add new functionality from this wave related to water and waste management. And plus, if you do not have proper value, so if you do not have exact uh, emission you want to post, you can use formulas. So you can calculate uh, your final, your total emissions using different embedded formulas. With purchase documents and general journal, you cannot use formulas. So you can post only total emissions if you have this information. So if you got from external source, uh, for example, your invoice, if you already have emission, you can easily post, but there is no any calculation there. So you cannot use formulas. And plus, in this moment, you can post only greenhouse gas emissions, so no water and waste. Okay, uh, let's explain a little bit in details how you can use in a general journal. So there are a few not limitations, but uh, few direction, a few directions how you can use in general journal. First, if you want to post sustainability values in general journals, you must use one of these document types, invoice or create memo, and blank, of course, you can use these three options. For others, you cannot post any emission directly from general journal. Why? For example, when you are posting payments, probably there is no any emission related to your payments. So emissions are coming related to your invoices, your credit memos. This is where we have emissions, so you can post emissions only with this type of documents. Further, what you can post, as I said, three different gas emissions. So you can post carbon, you can post methane and nitrogen dioxide uh, here as well. So you can post these three different uh, emissions and all of them at the total values. And before you posting, what is must, you must have amount, regular amount in general journal. So if you do not have amount for posting to uh, general ledger entries, you cannot post only emissions. If you have only emissions without any financial values, you must go to sustainability journal. So this is an option if you have financial amounts to add in the same entry uh, sustainability values as well. So now my colleague Milica will show you how it looks like in the practice. Thanks, Alexander. Now let's go to the demo. I will open General Journal and will create one invoice line. Here we will choose GL account that has default sustainability account. So we can see that sustainability account number is filled here, but it is possible to change it. We insert amount and total emissions. And once we fill all of necessary fields, we can do posting. Once we finish the posting, we can go to posted general journals to verify what is the result. And here we can see that we have 
the new line created that has sustainability account that we choose and total emissions that we insert. When we go to find entries, we can see that there is a new sustainability ledger entry uh, created for our sustainability account that we added on the line. Uh, let's move back to general journal and I will show you one more example. If we try to create a payment line in general journal with GL account that has default sustainability account set on itself, you will got the error. So it is possible to create journal lines with sustainability accounts only if our type document type is blank, invoice or credit map. Thank you. That was all for this demo. Now I will move to Alexander Stotovic. Thank you, Milica, for showing us this demo. Now you can see we are continuing to invest to make it easier for you to post all sustainability-related uh, information, sustainability-related values. So we want to make this business as usual every time if you have a combined different uh, information that you do not need to switch to another type of journals, if you have. So this is what we are planning to do. We will continue to invest in these different uh, ways how to post sustainability values based on your feedback. And now we can close this uh, session. Thank you for watching us. And again, I would like to invite you to watch another sustainability-related videos.